Thank you. Uh, it's a real privilege, of course, to welcome the Prime Minister. It's the second time we have a chance to welcome Prime Minister Turnbull. Uh, you know, any think tank president that gets to introduce a Prime Minister, you expect to hear a pretty flowery introduction, and, and of course I'm going to do that. But uh, what I would like to highlight is the unusual nature of the purpose of his visit. He put, uh, he put a challenge to the United States when his first visit was back in January, and he said, we have a serious challenge about cybersecurity and we want to be working with you on it. And so this is a, quite important that he did that. My last job when I was the Deputy Secretary, I went around to 12 different countries to talk about cybersecurity and frankly got nothing done. But when a Prime Minister takes it on, things happen. And I think it reflects both his professional uh, his professional experience as a businessman and a high technology businessman, but also his deep commitment to the security of Australia and knowing that that has to be in an active partnership with the United States and with other countries. And so we're delighted to have you here, Prime Minister. You've been the impetus behind this meeting, and I think we look forward to having a chance to hear your thoughts. And Stronger than ever. Uh, and the theme of cyber security ran through all of the discussions we've been having today with your security chiefs, your intelligence services. It is the frontier where we are being most challenged by the agility of our enemies, by those that seek to do us harm, those who seek to undermine the freedoms that we enjoy. Ladies and gentlemen, no institution or infrastructure is more important to the future prosperity and freedom of our global community than the internet. It powers, it punctuates our daily lives, supports our business transactions, joins our nations in what is truly a world wide web. This is the modern world. Yet for all of its ubiquity, it has for the most part remained free of government domination or control. Governments. A free and open internet supports our democratic rights of freedom of speech, religious expression, political thought and choice. However, governments cannot be completely hands off. They have a clear role to play in cyberspace in the more traditional roles of the nation state, protecting citizens, advancing national interests and encouraging neighbours in this exciting digital age. As I discussed this morning with NSA Director Admiral Rogers, governments also have a role in helping secure the internet. A secure internet is essential, not only in e-commerce, but also in maintaining the relationships that support our society. Government leads on counter-terrorism because these burdens can only be shouldered by nation states. Whereas a forward-thinking government knows it will always be entwined with industry in the field of cyber security. That's why we must work together, private sector and nation states, to secure the internet. The challenges the internet faces are greater than can be solved by any of us alone. 